Hi everyone, it's Ellen from Ellen's Tips for iOS. Have you ever picked up your iPhone and found it just won't respond? Maybe the screen is stuck on one picture or you can't swipe or press any buttons at all. If that sounds familiar, don't worry, you're definitely not alone. A frozen iPhone can happen to anyone and today I'll show you three simple things you can do to fix it yourself. You don't have to be techy, just follow along and I'll walk you through every step nice and slow. Let's get started. Before we dive in, let's talk about why your iPhone might freeze up. Sometimes it's just working too hard, maybe too many apps are open, or it needs an update. Other times it could be a software glitch or even just a very low battery. Don't worry, it doesn't usually mean your phone is broken. If you've ever worried you did something wrong, trust me, you didn't. Technology gets a bit stubborn for all of us. The very first thing to try is called a force restart or force reset. This is just a special way of rebooting your iPhone when the normal off function doesn't work for you. So here's how you're going to do it. I'm going to demonstrate this on my iPhone 15 Pro, but this will work on any iPhone 8 or newer and the iPhone SE second or third generation. What we're going to do is quickly press the volume up button, quickly press the volume down button, and then we're going to push and hold the side button. So quick press volume up, quick press volume down, push and hold on the side button on the right side. The phone will eventually turn black. Just keep holding that side button. Once it turns black, you're going to wait for the iPhone or Apple logo to appear. Then you can release the side button. It'll take maybe 15 seconds for uh, the phone uh, to boot up. Once the phone boots up, you're going to want to enter in your passcode to open up the phone because Face ID on a reboot like this won't work. So here we are on the lock screen. I'm going to swipe up. I'm going to enter in my passcode. Once I do that, I'm back into the iPhone. Hopefully this fixes your issue you know, play around with it for a little while to see if it does. Uh, one thing I want to note is that by doing this force restart, you don't lose any of your apps. So it won't erase any photos, contacts, or apps. It just helps your iPhone wake up again. Sometimes a frozen iPhone is just a sign that the battery is extremely low, even if it doesn't look that way. Here's what to do. Make sure you're using an Apple approved charging cable and plug. Plug your iPhone into the charger and make sure it's getting power. Look for the battery symbol in the upper right corner of the phone. Let it charge for at least 15 to 30 minutes. Sometimes a dead battery needs a few extra minutes before it wakes up. If you don't see anything on the screen, if the screen is black after you've charged it for a while, try the force restart again while you're plugged in to the charger. If you've tried both steps above and your iPhone is still stuck, don't give up. There's one more thing you can try at home. Connect your iPhone to a computer. If you have a Mac, open Finder. If you have a Windows PC, open iTunes. Plug your iPhone in with a charging cable. Open Finder, which on a Mac, which is what I have, will be located in the uh, dock at the bottom on the left-hand side. Open Finder. You should see your device on the left hand side. I'm going to open my iPhone 15 Pro. Once I do, you'll see the options to check for an update or restore iPhone. Choose update first. 
This can often fix a frozen screen by updating the software. No photos or apps are lost. If update doesn't work, Restore will reset the iPhone to factory settings. So only use that if you have a backup in iCloud or as a last resort. If you're not comfortable doing this alone, it's perfectly okay to ask a family member or friend for help. If none of these steps work, don't worry. It's time to call in the experts. Apple support can walk you through more solutions or check if there's a bigger hardware issue. You can also visit an Apple store or local tech helper you trust. Remember, you haven't done anything wrong. Technology is tricky and sometimes it just needs a little professional help. Let's review the three steps. Try a force restart. Plug in and check your charger and cable and be sure your iPhone is charging. Connect to a computer for an update or restore if necessary. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more iPhone tips designed just for seniors. And if you have another problem with your iPhone, let me know in the comments. I'd love to help or make a new video just for you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.